along with Brazil. And here then we have the team news, as you can see the Paraguay team there now being posted up for us. And they're going through a promising period at the moment, Paraguay, inspired by the success at club level of the Asuncion Club Olympia. They got to the final of the Libertadores, the South American Club Championship, before losing out on penalties to Nacional of Colombia. And quite a few players from Olympia in this Europe Paraguay squad. But no, Gustavo Neffer, just 17 years old, he's the, the new Maradona he's being held as, the new Maradona of South American football, but we gather he's been suspended for taking an illegal substance, so no place in this side for Gustavo Neffer. Let's take a look then at the Uruguay lineup and one or two familiar names in there. Francesco Lee, number nine, of course, the former South American footballer of the year, as indeed is number seven, Alza Mendy. Francesco Lee now playing in France with Racing Paris, although we gather there may well be a move to perhaps Italy for him in the near future. The referee comes from Argentina, Juan Lustal, and the linesman there from Ecuador and Bolivia. And don't forget the match, Argentina against Brazil follows this one. But we're looking forward to an exciting game here to set off this final group of matches. Three days of game still to come. And here we can see how Argentina, uh, Uruguay, Argentina and Uruguay there, that's how that table finished. Argentina two points clear of Uruguay. Chile and Ecuador also on four points, and it was quite a tight situation too, depending on the final match, Chile against Ecuador, which Chile won to squeeze out Ecuador, Uruguay going through at their expense. So then, away we go, and it's Uruguay in the light blue shirts, in possession now, attacking from right to left in the first half as we look here. Paraguay in red and white stripes with red shorts. Uruguay, the defending champions from the America Cup in 1987. And that was their ninth success, equaling the record held by Argentina. But an early chance for a breakthrough from Paraguay soon comes to nothing. This is Ruben Paz for Uruguay. Great atmosphere in the stadium. Franco for Paraguay. And it's a cautious start, as we expected from both teams. Long way to go yet in this tournament. Paraguay, very impressive in their group matches. And indeed for that final game, which they lost to Brazil, they did field an experimental side, having already done enough really to qualify for this final stage. De Leon is the number three, the huge central defender for Uruguay. We saw a moment ago. Ruben Sosa plays his club football in Italy. It's Francesco Lee. But a quick counter-attack here from Paraguay. Oh, and then a slip at the vital moment. In fact, the decision given to Uruguay by the Argentinian referee. Hugo de Leon plays for the Nacional Club, who won the World Club Championship at the end of last year, beating PSV Eindhoven from Holland. Caneta, and he'll be a key man for Paraguay. Number four. 
one of their more experienced players. De Leon for Uruguay. Keneta. And Uruguay beginning to string some passes together here. Shot there was charged down from Alcimendo. Break down the left flank here from Dominguez, the left fullback. That's the decision going against Uruguay. Dominguez playing the ball through but offside. Fernandez, the goalkeeper for Paraguay, wearing number seven. Here's the man with number one, Caballero. Now then, Paraguay hoping to get a move started here. But both teams with a tentative approach in these first few minutes. I think fair to say that many of the crowd here, the Brazilians, perhaps rather more anxious about the result that follows this one. Brazil against Argentina. It's Dominguez. to Paraguay or rather to Uruguay taken quickly and the shot on the turn comes to nothing Uruguay hoping to catch Paraguay on the speed of their attack then Fernandez who's been around the international scene for quite a while Throw to Paraguay, who scored nine goals then in those first three games in their qualifying group. 5-2 against Peru in the first game. As I was saying, although they lost to Brazil in the last game, they did change most of the team from the side that had played in the first three games. But here's De Leon for Uruguay. Dominguez from Penarol. Good turn then, but Sosa was dispossessed. Franco. And here comes Uruguay again now with Sosa. Francesco Lee. And they've got players forward here in this attack of Uruguay. The shot was from Paz and way over the bar. No test then for Fernandez. Ruben Paz coming up to 30 now. A very useful player though, he's been down the years. Fernandez here, who played in the World Cup of 86 when Paraguay got through to the second stage, but then went out to England. And Gary Lineker was starting to fight his form. Two goals in that game, and of course, the three against Poland, too. De Leon. It's Gutierrez. 
another player who parades his talents in Italy. Foul then on Francescoli. Here we can see the tackle again. It was certainly a harsh one from Caballero. Now Paz is in trouble. I think there may well be a caution there out of your picture. Paz fairly marked down as a danger man by the Paraguayans, and they're keeping a very tight rein on him. De Leon with the free kick. Here's Dominguez. Crowded out, though, in the end. Franco. But no one for Paraguay was in the Uruguay half at that stage. Here's De Leon. Key defender at the back for Uruguay. Francesco Lee has pulled into the middle if they can find him. They're cleared away. And a shot this time over the bar from Podomo. Here we can just check on Uruguay's previous results. Defeat by Ecuador, and then wins over Bolivia and Chile. And defeat by Argentina in their final game. In Paraguay, a 5-2 success over Peru. And those wins over Colombia and Venezuela, very impressive. And then a 2-0 defeat by Brazil. Again, the Uruguay defense standing firm. Built around De Leon at the back and Gutierrez. A good piece of running here by Ruben Sosa. And if one of his teammates had been on the end of that one, that could have been surely the opening goal of the game. But Paraguay survive. And hope to get something started here themselves. Franco seeing plenty of the ball in the early stages. Not full, but always an impressive sight around this huge ground. And the atmosphere, I imagine, will start to warm up a little later on. There's the Leon to Ruben Sosa, missing out there on this occasion. Here's Franco. Good ball played through then to Sosa. He's already looking a menacing figure up front. Prompted by Paz from midfield. Here's Sosa. There could be something on here. And the Paraguayan defence not getting the ball away too effectively. Dominguez. Domo. Continued his run. Now Francesco Lee. Way to go wouldn't open up for him. But again, the Paraguayans looking rather hesitant at the back and rather uncertain. And it's certainly Uruguay who started the stronger of the two sides with around about 13 minutes gone so far. Dominguez then with the throw. Francesco Lee, player of immense skill. Dominguez, prepared to battle, shocked off two of them, and in the end was impeded. So a free kick to Uruguay. 
pressing hard here in the early stages. The foul on Dominguez. And Ruben Paz, who is very much the playmaker at the side, will take the free kick for them. He has a second chance. Oh, lovely play that by Paz. Lost it in the air. The layoff. Well, I was saying earlier that they have Paz and I would think Sosa too, marked down as the men to contain have Paraguay. But Paz so far running the show. Again, Uruguay looking to find a way through. And this time it's broken up by Caballero. But certainly the Paraguay defence, the busier of the two at this stage. Caballero. Jack Cake. Broken up rather easily. But then the determination of the Paraguay attack. Winning the ball back again. Gutierrez from Lazio in Italy. Adomo. The layoff pass easily intercepted. The long ball made by Zabala. But so far, only one half a chance, really. Pass that flashed across the Paraguayan area. Both teams with important World Cup games coming up shortly, too. They're hoping to make a good show here in these finals for the American Cup. Francesco Lee. Certainly more fluency about Uruguay in the first quarter of an hour or so than there's been from Paraguay. Cavalero for Paraguay. No goals here. You're just joining us. Just over a quarter of an hour gone. Paraguay against Uruguay. The first match in the finals of the America Cup, 1989. And that shot was hopelessly wide then from Mendoza. Rather out of character for him. He's the leading goal scorer for Olympia of Asuncion. And they have just finished, as I was mentioning earlier, as runners-up in the South American Cup, as it's known, the Libertadores. And there are several players from that side, the Olympia side, in the Paraguayan squad. So far, not showing too much cohesion, really, Paraguay. Which won't be pleasing their coach, Eduardo Manera. In fact, himself is Argentinian. Paraguay nil, Uruguay nil. 
here at the Maracana Stadium in Brazil. Still to come later on, Brazil, the hosts against Argentina, the world champions. Franco for Paraguay. Caballero. Still a rather nervous approach to their play, and we really don't seem to have settled as yet, Paraguay. But a little spell of possession for them here, which may at least lift their confidence a bit. Canete. Now there are two, three players waiting in the middle, if they can get across in. Now could Uruguay catch Paraguay on the break? And the referee there, sensibly, allowing the advantage. Taken up now by Francesco Lee. Who has a lot of pace, of course. His pass. The threaten, but nothing happened. Franco. back to Zioli in goal for Uruguay now the first choice keeper established over the last year or so Sosa dispossessed Mendoza now the corner first to Paraguay the a moment uh, attacking flair from them in the first period of this first half yeah. sent up, uh, aye, aye, aye. central defender Zabara he then is the corner safe catch by Zioli comes from the Danubio club De Leon for Uruguay Gutierrez Now Domingos, who certainly had opportunities to come forward in the first half. Francesco Lee now. No chance really for Domingos to reach that pass. And the ball safely back with Roberto Fernandez. And now for Caballero. Kaneta. Paraguay just threatening to lift their game a little. Here's Kaneta again. A lot of talent in the side. Kaneta continuing his run well. Still Kaneta. Caballero, oh, dreadful mistake by him. Here's Sosa. In fact, it was Paz knocking it through. I think the flag may well have been up anyway for offside. A neat little ball played on. But Alcimendo was offside. Domo. Neither goalkeeper really extended so far. A 
But away come Paraguay now. Certainly heartened by their three straight wins in the group games. Free kick to Paraguay. Taken by Caneta. Here with Franco. A lot of disappointment, I'm sure, for the crowd that Defa, the young 17-year-old, isn't in the Paraguay side. Disciplinary reasons, we understand. But he really is the most promising young player. And he's already scored two or three times in the group games. Perhaps his absence has just taken the edge off the Paraguay side as an attacking force. De Leon for Uruguay. Podomo. Has taking on too many. Caneta. All rather untidy though there in the center of the field. Caneta tries to bring some order to it. Fails to do so. And Uruguay now have got a chance to launch an attack themselves. Here's Paz. So much seems to revolve around him. And Fernandez alert to the situation. Certainly, the game so far, rather devoid of goal mouth action. Except we might have some here now with Paraguay. Oof, kicked over his own bar then by one of the Uruguayan defenders, much to the consternation of Zioli. That's the Lazar, I think it was. Look at that again. Not quite sure what he was attempting there. But fortunately for him, over his own crossbar. But the corner conceded. Paraguay is second in the first half. Almost half an hour gone. No goals. Again, the Uruguayan defence doing a sturdy job. One of their players has gone down now. And they've still got some defending to do. But again, the shooting is rather erratic. Franco with a shot that flew wide. And Alzamendo was the Uruguayan player down injured. But he's back on his feet now and able to resume. Alzamendo, who plays his club football in Spain, for Legranes. South American Footballer of the Year, Alzamendo, number seven for Uruguay. And that was back in 1986. Here he is now. Given away, though, to Jacque. Here's Jacke again. Taking the chance to come forward. A useful interchange of passes. But again, surrounded by blue shirts. Podomo. Trying to get Sosa away. And Fernandez right out of his area. Now here's Sosa. Can they finish it off here? Yes, it's a goal. And Francesco Lee has given Uruguay the lead. A rush of blood to the head from Fernandez that proved so costly. He chased this ball as Sosa went through. Fernandez failed to make contact. And Sosa very coolly picked out Francesco Lee. And with a half an hour gone, 
Ruben Sosa has set up the opening goal for Francesco Lee. Very tidy piece of finishing. And Uruguay, deservedly, I think, on the balance of play so far, are a goal in front. Well, the game, I think it's fair to say, needed a bit of a lift, and that goal has certainly provided one. Uruguay 1, Paraguay 0. And Paraguay have a free kick, which Caneta will take for them. And away for the corner. Certainly Uruguay have threatened to pierce the Paraguayan defence with Sosa and Paz. And the running two of Francesco Lee. And it's he that has put his team in front. Uruguayans do look strong in the air at the back. They really haven't given too much away at all. So, sir. Well, he does possess an explosive shot, Ruben Sosa. I remember Paul seeing a goal in the Italian League from him earlier in the season, which simply flew into the far corner. But on this occasion, no venom behind the shot at all. Paraguay, a goal down. They have a free kick to be taken by Franco from the Durrani club in Uruguay, in uh, Paraguay, rather, I should say. Quite a few of the players do play their club football for or in opposing countries in the South American Championship, so one or two will be familiar to each other. Delgado. He indeed plays for Independiente of Argentina. A strong man at the back for Paraguay, Delgado. Padomo for Uruguay. Francesco Lee. Here's Paz. Now for Sosa. He just stayed on side. Tempo has increased a little, and the goal has certainly brought the game to life. And the crowd, too, rather noisier now than they were in the first few minutes. And don't forget, if you are just joining us, that we'll be following this game with Argentina against Brazil. Podomo. Dominguez. Paz. Initial looking ball not through then. A good defensive play by Paraguay. And the ball surely then handled. Free kick to Paraguay. Kicking off for the Uruguayan offender. Caneta. Caballero, Caneta again. Influential in midfield, but they haven't really created any chance of notice yet. And the one goal so far has come from this man, Francesco Lee. Very direct player. There's talk that he wants to move from France, and I'm sure there'll be quite a few takers around Europe. Another free kick, the ball handled, this time in Uruguay's favour. Fernandez wanting that wall ahead of him to be perfectly placed. 
might be a chance of a long shot here perhaps from Paz or from Sosa. Not Paz. Shot driven through but wide. Domo with the free kick. And spinning well wide of goal. But Fernandez. Well, I wouldn't think his coach will be too happy with his efforts on the goal. Certainly exposing himself outside the area. And Ruben Sosa taking full advantage to create the goal for Francesco Lee. Ten minutes to half time. Uruguay 1, Paraguay 0. Jacke. Could be a chance here. Driven through and well held by Zioli. Couldn't have had too good a view of that. The sea of legs ahead of him. But able to smother the ball well. Dominguez. Out in possession. By a snappy tackle. Zioli, a relative newcomer then in the Uruguayan goal. 27 years old. Now, here's Kaneta. Wasn't a bad cross in from him, but Zioli able to make a comfortable save. <laughs> Foul then by Delgado, who's a tough and uncompromising defender. Constant wave of sound around the stadium. And I'm sure that noise will become louder and louder as the round of matches wears on. Argentina and Brazil to follow. Free kick then to Uruguay, taken by Podomo. Header on, that's from uh, Oster Lazar. Fernandez, who's 35 now, over 60 caps to his name. Paraguay looking for the boost of an equaliser before half time, but they haven't shown too many signs of finding a goal in the first half. One strike so far coming from Francesco Lee of Uruguay. In this first game, in the final round of the America Cup. Four teams through, just to remind you, from the group games. So now it's Zioli's turn to do some organizing. Somewhat vociferously too. Franco with the free kick for Paraguay. What a Philip, a goal would give them now. And the opportunity could be on. But again, the strength of the Uruguayans in the air. Winning out. And somewhat spectacularly away by Paz. But Paraguay seeking to finish the half on a strong note. Caneta with the throw. Back leaving it here for Caballero. And a goal kick to Uruguay. Who defensively has looked pretty firm, really. Just the occasional scare. Zioli so far with a fairly trouble-free afternoon.
Foul then on Podomo by Jacke. So free kick to Uruguay, but Perdomo I think may want some attention first. Well, he's clambered up to his feet. And in fact, takes the free kick himself, so he can't have been too badly hurt. Here's De Leon. Very composed figure in the heart of the Uruguayan defense. Now, here's Paz. Trying his luck, and not a bad try either, which Fernandez had to keep his eye on all the way. He's such a tricky player to contend with his Paz. He very nearly produced another goal then for Uruguay. But it stays at 1-0. Here's Francesco Lee, the scorer. Lovely play from him, Dominguez. Certainly some excellent moments of individual skill, in particular from the Uruguayans. But then a rather careless back pass, concedes a corner. Five minutes of the first half to go. And I don't think Javier Zioli will be too pleased about that. A rather clumsy return pass to him, which he had no chance of getting. And here's the corner, which Franco takes quickly. Caneta ran into trouble. Sosa trying to get away from trouble. He was held back, but again, the referee allowing the advantage well. Here's the Leon, a rare excursion upfield for him. But again, a promising combination. And there was De Leon. Now Francesco Lee. Delgado, very strong. And the ball handled then, but again the referee, I think was about to allow the advantage, but the ball had gone out of play, so now we resume with the free kick. Caneta. Here's Caneta again. So much revolves around him, but he's lost out again. Delgado, though, breaking from his defensive role. Mendoza. Jacke. The Uruguayans have got a lot of players back. And that move was doomed to failure then. But Paraguay still searching for an equaliser. As the first half draws towards its close, here's Caneta. Uruguayan defence proving extremely hard to break down. Just a couple of minutes to go in the first half. And Uruguay, at the moment, having to defend. Here's the throw then for Paraguay. Cavaliero. Paraguay not winning too many balls in the air up front. Jacke. Herrera with the tackle. 
and the free kick given to Paraguay. So a chance for them to create something, perhaps. Right at the end of this first half. But again, an easy save for Zioli. He hasn't really been extended in the first half. Uruguay with just one player left upfield, so I think the policy at the moment is settled for what we have, at least till half time. Caballero. Plenty of possession from Paraguay. They're not making too many inroads into the Uruguay defence. Adomo's tackle was an unfair one. Free kick to Paraguay. Ooh, lining up to take the free kick. There's four of them there. Poor old Zioli. Must be wondering what they're planning here. But they want that defensive wall. Absolutely right ahead of him. It's a four five man wall. Caneta is there for Paraguay. And the shot. Ambitious, optimistic, and coming to nothing. Almost at the end of the first half now. Uruguay, whose performance in the America Cup got off to a slow start with defeat by Ecuador, but they seem to be improving as it wears on. And clearly will have a say in the final outcome. The defending champions remember from 1987. Free kick awarded to Paraguay. Time yet, perhaps, for one last assault from Paraguay. And assault, perhaps, is rather a strong word. And they'll certainly have to be positive if they're going to get anything out of this game. But again, good defensive play by Uruguay. And by Paz on that occasion. Prepared to do his share of defending as well as setting up attacking ploys at the other end. Here's Sosa. Francesco Lee with a lot of space. Herrera. Francesco Lee again, he's so hard to contain. Still Francesco Lee. The danger signals were there then for Paraguay. Adomo going in. And a bit of a let off then for Paraguay right at the end of the first half. And certainly Uruguay have had the best of that first 45 minutes. The only goal scored by Francesco Lee just before the half hour, set up by Sosa after a blunder really by goalkeeper Fernandez tearing out of his area and in fairness to Uruguay they've deserved their lead at half time Paraguay with very few moments to cause anxiety to Zioli we'll be back with the second half after the break Welcome back to the Maracana Stadium. We're still awaiting the teams coming out for the second half. And just one matter to put right for you. There did seem to be a bit of confusion earlier on, and 
Our information was incorrect. Nefa, the young lad, being held as the new Maradona, is in fact playing and wearing number 13 for Paraguay. So there was, as I say, some uh, confusion over the numbers. But Nefa is out there playing for Paraguay. And I must say, he didn't do a great deal in the first half. And didn't warrant too many mentions. But he is in the Paraguay lineup. And perhaps we'll see more of him in the second half. And the Paraguay side are now taking the field. The referee and the two linesmen, as you can see, already out on the pitch. As we now look forward to the appearance of Uruguay, leading here by a goal to nil. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a first half that Uruguay dominated in many ways, although Paraguay had a lot of possession, but without really creating too much damage. And the only goal so far, scored by Francesco Lee, after 29 minutes and that after a fine piece of play by Sosa taking advantage of a mistake by Fernandez, the goalkeeper for Paraguay who came hurtling out of his area but failed to make contact with the ball and Uruguay now taking the field and looked very strong at the back the defence marshalled by De Leon and Gutierrez and they've certainly won almost everything in the air And they've had a pretty sound goalkeeper too in Zioli. This is Fernandez at the other end. And I wonder what the Paraguayan coach will have had to say to him at half-time about his error that contributed to the first goal. Just remember the first game in the final series of matches in the America Cup. We've had the group games. We're now down to the last four. Still to come tonight, we have Brazil against Argentina. Guache. Paraguay now kicking from right to left in the second half. Here's Delgado, one of their central defenders, their markers at the back. Jacke, Kaneta threading it through, but failing to find Mendoza. Throw to Uruguay. Certainly had lively performance in the first half in the shape of Paz and Sosa, and of course Francesco Lee, whose alertness enabled him to score that first goal. So quick to spot the opportunity, the opening created by Sosa. Offside then against Alzamendi. Franco. De Leon is the covering defender. And what a sound game he's had at the back for Uruguay. Delgado for Paraguay. Another untidy start to the second half. So it all settles down fairly quickly. Paz with a long ball. Now, could be a chance here. The shot was on. Well saved, though. Ostalaza driving the ball in. He had time then to size up the shot. And Fernandez right behind it.
Now, something developing here perhaps for Paraguay. Into the side netting. Zioli covering the near post. Goal kick to Uruguay. Had a rather disappointing time, Uruguay, in the World Cup Finals in Mexico in 86. The late tackle there. And Oscar Lazar, who stayed down, got back on his feet now. Got a crunching challenge on him. Uruguay, in fact, uh, going out to Argentina in the World Cup. This time they've got World Cup qualifying games against Peru and Bolivia, so they'll be expected to come through that group. Paraguay are in with Colombia and Ecuador, and the winners of that have to play the winners of the Oceana section before deciding who goes on to Italy. Pineta. Jack A. Jack A again. The cross was far too long. Five minutes into the second half. And Uruguay still leading by a goal to nil against Paraguay. Francesco Lee after 29 minutes. Play brought back for a free kick to Uruguay. They've looked the more inventive of the two teams. There haven't been all that many chances for either side, really. Francesquilly beaten on this occasion. Promising run by Jack A. Delgado breaking out of defence but unsuccessfully, and he's out of position now. Can Uruguay take advantage? Free kick right on the edge of the area. Foul by Zabala. As Alzamendi threatened to go on. Foul seemed to me to be a little bit nearer the penalty area than that. The referee seems happy that the kick can be taken from there. It might be an opportunity for Paz or for Sosa or Francesca Lee. They're all there. Faced by a five-man wall. Paz curling it and over the bar. Such an inventive player, though, Ruben Paz. One of the most accomplished players in South America. In fact, Ruben Paz has only got around 35 caps, and most of those were before the age of 21. He then went to play abroad and was out of favour internationally for a while. Very much in favour at the moment with Uruguay. And he's been as impressive as anybody in this game so far. But Paraguay still well in contention. Here's Dominguez for Uruguay. Just one goal dividing the two teams. 
Delgado. Franco. Canata. Herrera rocks it. And the break could be on now. He has Sosa up with him. And thread it through. And is this number two? Alzamenda just took it too far. Fernandez did enough. But a clear chance then for Alzamenda. The ball delightfully played through to him. And you'll see him go round the goalkeeper. But Fernandez just got a hand to it. Jacke. Throw to Paraguay. A definite let off for them at the other end. But will that give them heart now? To go off in search of an equaliser again. Again, won comfortably in the air by Uruguay. It goes Paz. Alzamendi won't get there before Fernandez. There's clearance. Finding Gouache. Franco. Mendoza challenging with Herrera. And the decision in Uruguay's favour. Gutierrez, number two there for Uruguay. Plays for Lazio in Italy. It's first season there. I gather it suggested he may well be moving to Spain as well. One or two others on the Uruguayan side have already made that trip. Alzamendo to Sosa. Good tackle though by Delgado, an important one too. Canata. This is Nefa. Okay, looking for a long throw. Shot was charged down. Can they make it count? Appeal for handball, not given. They haven't got it away yet. They might have done now. Eventually hooked up field by Paz. Here's Delgado. And Paraguay beginning to set, so I would think now that they've certainly got chances still in this game. Only a goal down. And beginning now to threaten the Uruguayan goal a little bit. Although this defense does look strong and sturdy. Delgado for Paraguay.
Gawash deciding there was nowhere to go but back. So we'll start all over again. The Uruguay seems quite happy to allow Paraguay to come at them. And just soak up the pressure. Gouache. Here's Delgado. Some room to work in here. And this is the ploy to catch them on the break. With the acceleration of Francesco Lee. Alzamendi with a cross in. Now Delgado for Paraguay. Still an open contest. Could go either way. Uruguay front at half time. Paraguay looking a lot stronger in the second half. Caballero waiting to take the throw for Paraguay. Who twice won the America Cup back in 1979 and 1953. Five times they've been runners-up. Trailing here at the moment by a goal to nil. Zabala. Gouache. And Uruguay with so many players behind the ball, but then looking to sprint quickly into attack. Free kick given to them. But Domo with a free kick for Uruguay. Broken up by a combination of a couple of Paraguayans and the referee. He comes from Argentina. Mr. Delgado brought down. That was by Ostalaza. Ostalaza from the Nacional Club. Both of man of the match in the World Club Championship game against PSV Eindhoven at the end of last year. Zabala for Paraguay. It's a question of being patient for Paraguay and hoping they can break Uruguay down, but they've also of course got to be prepared to run the risk of being caught themselves on the break. Ferreira's pass. Haven't seen too much of Ferreira in this game, but he's scored twice in one of the group games. Delgado. He's gone sauntering on through the middle. But again, everything in the air is dealt with so efficiently by Uruguay. And here's Sosa now. Sprinting away. Still Sosa, too many defenders. But Alzamendi taking it on. Francesco Lee. Almost got Sosa in, and a hand came out there. Appeals from some of the crowd, the referee saw nothing wrong. Have another look at that. Well, his arm certainly appeared to brush the ball there. No penalty given. Free kick to Paraguay. Just over a quarter of an hour into the second half. Still Uruguay 1, Paraguay 0. Jacque. Jacque again. So often the ball won in the air by Uruguay. The 
is Sosa. And offside this time against Herrera, the fullback. Kubala. Two fireworks cracking now around the stadium. And the Brazilian fans getting themselves ready for the match that follows. Brazil against the world champions, Argentina. Promises to be quite a match, that one. You may recall when they met back in 82 in the World Cup finals. Brazil winning on that occasion by three goals to one. And everyone felt then that Brazil were going to go on to win the World Cup. But no, they went out to Italy. And Italy, of course, went on to win the World Cup in 82. Francesco Lee. Couldn't force the corner, though, or provide a cross. Caneta for Paraguay. Duash, Delgado. Certainly more cohesion about Paraguay as the game has gone on. Mendoza. Jacque. Trying to play it in towards Nefa. Mendoza. Good touch off by Gourash. Here's Delgado. A long, long way out. Promising move. But all coming to nothing in the end. Delgado has made one or two surges from the back. Hoping to inspire the front players. But still, they've not really tested Zioli. Strong running here, this is Jack A. Good covering tackle though by Gutierrez. Here's the throw, which looks set to be a long one. Not long enough though. as Uruguay rather make a meal of getting it clear. In the meantime, an offside decision given against Paraguay. We kick then to Uruguay. A goal up from Francescoli on 29 minutes. And Alzamendi perhaps squandering the best chance other than that in the second half. That would have made it 2-0. Perhaps put the game beyond Paraguay, but as it is, they're still in there with a fighting chance. Caballero with the free kick. Delgado. Delgado again in an advanced position. Complete miscue from him. Well, he's determined to whack one in from distance. That's twice now he's had a crack and on this occasion made very little impact at all. But he is making an impact in, turn of his ex in terms of his excursions upfield. Paraguay looking perhaps to bring on a substitute. Palacios. Number 14 we saw a moment ago. 
Mendoza losing out here to Alzamende. Four defenders around him. And he's earned the free kick for his persistence. 33 now, Alzamende. Played in the 87 America Cup winning side. Fernandez not too happy about the covering ahead of him. He knows what Sosa can do from here. Herrera is there as well. Palacios coming on. Herrera, I think it was who went off. Here's Sosa. Well, he's curling them and bending them, but he's not got his accuracy right. Ruben Sosa with the free kick that sails over the bar. He has scored twice so far in this competition, has Ruben Sosa. And it was he, remember, who set up the opening goal for Francesco Lee. Free kick to Paraguay. Found by Pedersa. Domo, rather. Here's Delgado. Another free kick to Paraguay, who needs to make it progress into the Uruguayan half. Mendoza will take the kick. Another substitution, though, about to be made first. This time for Uruguay. They're going to take off Francesco Lee. Bring on Korea, number eight. Korea from the Pedrol Club. His first season at the national side, on the national squad. Getting his chance now with around 20 minutes of the game to go. And Francesco Lee, the scorer for Uruguay, has gone off. Whether he's injured or they're planning some tactical ploy, I don't know. But it certainly can't be for his performance. He's been quite outstanding, Francesco Lee. He caused a lot of problems with his trickiness and his running. And of course his goal scoring too. Azamendo just took it too far in the end. And a couple of his teammates arriving in the middle. It could have been more dangerous than it proved. And if he pulled that one back, Sosa might just have finished it off. But they have the corner, which Paz will take. Ruben Paz from Racing Club, Argentina. Played all around South America. Referee allowing the advantage. But it falls the other way. Here's Herrera. Such a disappointing cross, though, from him. And the front players will need a better service than that. If they're to add to the score, it stands at the moment. Uruguay 1, Paraguay 0. The second half of this, the first of two games today in the final series of the America Cup. The South American Championship. Delgado, again making his presence felt, this time in the penalty area, and he went in too vigorously then, caught the knee of Zioli. Delgado, who's come further forward in the second half than at any time in the first. He kept going there, he'd lost the ball, and crashed into the goalkeeper, and you can see there, collided with his knee. But thankfully, Zioli is all right.
mistake. Then letting in Sosa. Zabala had to tidy up at the back. But here come Paraguay again. Canetto is fouled. He kick taken very quickly. Gouache. Played through. A chance. Oh, saved. Brilliantly saved, too. Mendoza denied. And that was outstanding goalkeeping then by Zioli. Neat touch off. And Mendoza, who's got a terrific record of goal scoring, couldn't get it past him. The angle was perfect then for Zioli. So it stays at 1-0. For Paraguay, we're emphasizing then that they're still very much in contention. Hills Delgado. Just over a quarter of an hour to go. The substitute for Lazios. Crowded penalty area. Uruguay scrambling it away. Now they launch the counter attack. Paz on for Sosa. Alza Mender. Time to weigh up the situation and finds Paz. And the shot from Padomo going wide. Whistles from the crowd. The Brazilians, of course, will be hoping that their beloved side can produce more accurate shooting than that when they take on Argentina in the game that follows. Play by De Leon. Herrera. Another substitute about to be made. Just a reminder that that game, Argentina against Brazil, kicking off at 01.30 BST, 02.30 in Europe. And I'm sorry to say, there is some trouble on the terracing. And trouble here for Paraguay. Oh, it should have been a second for Alzamendo. Well, he's had his chances to improve the situation for Uruguay in the second half. He was set clear here. Only the goalkeeper to beat, and he screws his shot wide. Now Zemende has had now the two clear-cut opportunities in the second half. Escobar has now come on for Caneta. So Uruguay still defending this one-goal lead. Really, they should have increased it. 12 minutes left. Will Francesco Lee's first half goal be enough for Uruguay? Has.
good defending by De Leon. Not much has got past him. Jacque. But a pack Uruguayan defense. Doing its job again. Is Herrera. Sosa. Herrera. Firecrackers are going off around the stadium. And certainly the crowd. While enjoying this game, looking forward eagerly to Brazil's appearance in these final stages. Sosa beaten by Delgado. Herrera. Has couldn't make it through the middle then. So time beginning to run out then for Paraguay. We have that fine chance for Mendoza in the second half. And it needed a stunning save from Zioli to keep him out. Here's Delgado. They've got ten minutes now. Guash. Gutierrez. Ball out of play. Or throw to Paraguay. Okay, again will look to produce one of his prodigious throws. They try to weave a path to goal, and have they found it? No! Yet again, Zioli to the rescue. Inspired goalkeeping by Zioli. It's a marvellous save then at the near post. And no doubt at all, he's kept his team in front. Didn't have much to do in the first half, Zioli, but he's been called on twice now to perform heroics in the Uruguayan goal. Sosa on the break. The Leon have come out with him. And then I think was a case of a defender being called in an attacking position and not knowing quite what to do. De Leon came charging out of defence, found himself upfield, said, I don't want it, I'll give it to you. Poor old Sosa couldn't get there. Oh, again, great save. Mendoza's cross. And Zioli turning it over the bar. What a second half he's having. Just tipped it over. But this is looking a strong spell for Paraguay. And Uruguay happy to hoof the ball upfield in search here of Sosa. He's kept it in play. Now, can he finish them off? It's there, it's two. The second goal from Alzamendo. Third time lucky. He's had two golden opportunities in the second half. They both went begging, but not this time. He's tucked it away delightfully. Set up by Sosa. 
and into the far corner. It's 2-0 to Uruguay with seven minutes to go. And Sosa has laid on both the goals. And that was expertly taken by Alzamendo. Fernandez could do nothing about it. And surely now the win is safe for Uruguay. And they certainly have their goalkeeper to thank at the other end, Zioli, with a string of impressive saves. So, sir, he's using there a water bag to cool himself down. He's played his part, no doubt. Well, it's going to be extremely difficult now for Paraguay to come back from this. They certainly had their moments in the second half. And it looks as if victory is going to go to Uruguay in this opening game. 2-0 they lead. Nefa failing to make any impression there. It was pulled back. Gouache. But who knows? If they can get one goal back, it might just inspire them to find another one as well. They've got just over five minutes. Neff up. Mendoza. Got nowhere. And here's Sosa. He's been a constant thorn in the flesh of Paraguay, he's going all the way. Is this three? It's oh, just not wide. How's Amanda? Paraguay at full stretch then, they couldn't hold them really. Sosa threading a path to goal. And it just goes wide from Alzamendo. Lovely play again by Sosa. He's been quite outstanding. Paraguay still going forward in the hope of something. But it's really looking all over for them now. Spirited second half display, but surely not enough. Gouache. Delgado, Uruguay, content to pull everybody back behind the ball to defend these last few minutes now. The Leon for Uruguay. An impressive start by Uruguay then in the final round of matches. They still, of course, have to play Brazil and Argentina. But you can't ask more than to win your first game. And they're surely going to do that now. Thanks to the goals from Francesco Lee and Alzamendi. Another substitute as a rocket launches into the sky. Another substitute about to be made. And off goes Ruben Sosa, very much the hero for Uruguay. He's done his bit all right. One or two of the Paraguay players looking just a little dejected now. They've given their all, but it isn't going to be enough. But it's certainly not all over in terms of the contest. And they very nearly snatched a goal then anyway. Not over in terms of the overall contest, that is, with further matches to come. Oh, 
but it will certainly be difficult for them to come back from defeat in the first game. And Doza's corner. Just over a minute now to go. And another corner forced. As the atmosphere in the stadium begins to build now. In anticipation of Brazil's match against Argentina here at the Maracana Stadium. Delgado. It's a master Uruguayan defence. And out they come. The pack breaks clear. Now they're going to get a third one. Here's Paz. It's three. Paz has finished them off in style. Four players streaking out of defence. Paraguay with one, perhaps two defenders back, if that. And Paz, so composed, guides the ball beyond Fernandez for Uruguay's third to complete a comprehensive win here. And their superior finishing has told the story in the second half. And Paraguay with players upfield, totally caught out. And they're now 3-0 down. Paz with the third for Uruguay. With now the game almost in injury time. A little harsh perhaps on Paraguay, who've had a lot of the ball. And they've had the misfortune to come up against an outstanding goalkeeper in Zioli. What a start now then for Uruguay. A 3-0 win. If indeed it is three. And it's certainly looking that way now with just a few seconds to go. And there you can see that posse of defenders streaking upfield. And they were defenders a moment or so ago. And Paz delightfully into the corner. The referee has glanced at the watch. It's almost over now. Paraguay, their only hope now is a consolation goal. But I don't think they're even going to find that now. Looking rather dispirited. Here's Herrera. Uruguay cock hoop and they've taken charge of the game in the second half rather tight until that second goal the shot goes wide I think the free kick has been given anyway to Paraguay But it's all really rather academic now, with Uruguay having established this 3-0 lead in the opening game in the final series. The goalkeeper's in there somewhere. There he is behind the post. I wonder where he'd gone for a moment. You can hear him. Here's the free kick. And a cane! Spectacular goalkeeping by Zioli. What a game he's had. There goes the final whistle. And right to the last, Zioli performing heroics. So, a 3-0 win to Uruguay. Francesco Lee in the first half. Alzamendo and Paz completing the job in the second. And in between the first and then those second and third goals, there certainly were chances for Paraguay, but some inspired goalkeeping from Zioli. One save.